Uh, gosh, he's doing a lot of really good things right now. Great effort, great enthusiasm, becoming a leader. And it was huge to get him back. Obviously, you know, Garrett's back, he's back. We got an addition of Oshan, and we got the young guys, Blaze and Jamari, that are growing up. So I feel really good about that rotation along with a couple of freshmen right now. So um, him coming back for, for a fifth year was, was really big for our team. I think if you just if you just talk about movement skills and straight line speed, I think Caleb, you know that whole room is pretty good right now. But I think Caleb is probably at the top of that skill set, um, and, and so he's really fun to watch in practice. You know you don't want a ball to break in a run or something like that, but it's really fun to watch him run those down right now. It's really fun to watch him turn the corner on pass rush. I, I really like what he's doing. Well, I think anytime you know you come to a new team, you got to acclimate yourself to the team, and he's done a great job of that. Um, probably, you know, the strength conditioning is different every place you go in the country, and he's adapted to that as well. And then probably, you know, the league is a little different. Obviously, every time you go to a different league, every different league I've been in, some are spread and pass happy, some are, are a little, you know, more run game oriented and, and bigger up front. And like I've said to you guys before, I think this league mimics scheme-wise and offensive line-wise, kind of what you see in the NFL, and he's going to have to adapt to that. But I think that he kind of relishes that opportunity to go against some of the best tackles in the country. Yeah, yeah, so um, Stefan's done some really nice things here. Obviously, one day in pads, we were in underwears the last couple days, so it's, it's hard to tell those defensive linemen. But he did some nice things today. Um, Nash has done a really nice job. Uh, Colton Feast has done a really nice job inside. Mosai Newsom's coming along. Uh, and then obviously, like you said, as soon as we can make sure we have all our, our T's uh, crossed and our I's dotted with, with Devin Drew, we'll get him here as soon as possible and get him caught up to speed. And we're expecting a lot out of him as well. Yeah, so, um, you know, first and second, uh, excuse me, first, practice one and two, you know, like I said, it's in, the, it's in underwears and helmets. So it's, it's more about can we get scheme, can we get lined up, can we practice appropriately, can we get proper leverage. We're not tackling people, but can we get proper leverage and can we get proper form in the tackle? Uh, can we communicate like crazy? And then it's, it's kind of dumping. We had an opportunity in the spring and, and in the summertime to meet with the guys a little bit and we dumped a lot of the install in. So we're putting it in fast here in the spring and it's getting that stuff in quick and reviewing it, reviewing it until we get to the pads and we can start putting some movement and pressure and stuff like that in. I don't like doing that with no pads because there's too many bodies getting thrown around. So it's more about base first and second down. Now today we got an opportunity to move around a little bit. Uh, we got an opportunity, Coach Frost put us in some situations, some team pass and some uh, you know, second and long and then play the result. So now we got a little tiny taste of second and long and third down, and we'll keep building on those situations as we go. I don't think I don't think there's things what we're asking them to do differently. I feel like as good as those guys rushed in the spring with the addition of Oshan, I feel like we can we can do some different things on maybe third down and second and long. But I, I've asked those guys, the whole group and the defensive line is a huge part of it, that we need to do what we did last year. And in order for us to really take another step, we've got to get a few more sacks and we've got to get a few more turnovers. I'd like a lot more and a lot more, but if we can, if we can get you know another sack a game, another turnover a game, and I thought we did a good job of intercepting the ball last year. We didn't get enough punch outs and enough fumble recoveries, so we're, we're really concentrating on that as we start fall camp here. Is there a scenario where Tanner and Mathis and Nelson will be the same? Well, I think if uh, you're a good coach, you probably put your best guys in the field at all the time. So if they're the three best pass rushers, we got to get them out there. Um, and, and we've uh, we've already started that that talk a little bit. You got to have a plan for when they're all available, and you got to have a plan for when they're not all available. Whether it's somebody's tired or, or somebody gets nicked up a little bit, but um, you know, you, you watch the NFL. There's so many personnel changes and packages. We've got to adapt to that and have some packages as well.
Yeah. Yeah, I think that whole that whole back end right now, you name a position, safety, nickel, corner, there's great competition everywhere. And I think we've got very, very competent bodies everywhere, um, guys that are going to compete. And I think it's going to be probably very hard for Coach Fisher and myself to pick that starting four or five. The good news is, is we've got guys where I feel like we can rotate more at safety, which we haven't always been able to do. Uh, we can rotate a little bit at corner or put a third corner out if we need to. Uh, but with that being said, when we get to the scrimmage and we have to actually tackle people, that'll separate the men from the boys a little bit. Uh, I don't know if the – we're going to tackle, I think, on practice five or six in a couple periods. I think the scrimmage is like practice nine maybe or something like that. I know No, it's not tough to do in fall camp. And, um, you know, Javen Wright's finally been cleared. So it's been really nice to get him back. You know, John Bullock's been working in there a little bit. Um, great special teams player, and we feel good about him. And then also, you know, with with as many DBs as out there, we have the opportunity to move some of those guys around as well to see how things shake out. Hey, is Javen Wright clear? Yes, he's 100% clear right now. What is Javen? Uh, well, Javen brings some extreme length. I don't know if you guys have seen him very much. He hasn't been up here much, but you know he's in that six three plus six four range. Very long arms. He's got great movement skills. Uh, he's a really good coverage guy, and I think that he's really good in the run fit. Like I said, I haven't seen him tackle for a few years, so I don't know. But he he's a very very intelligent football player. Um, you know, obviously we all know his dad and how physical he was. If he can be as physical as dad, but along with the coverage skills he brings, he's going to be a, a, a special player. Well, as, as we talked about with Ty, for him, I thought last year for him, I thought he had a good year. But I think that he's a special player too. I think he has the opportunity to have a special year. So for him, it's just not, you know, making your play, staying in your gap. For him now, it's, it's let's, let's make some splash plays. Let's go get a few more sacks. Let's get some TFLs. Let's know when to take a shot. Let's have a better knowledge of the game. And I think he's working hard at that. What are the feedbacks you've seen gotten from just the current players? Is it the way that your guys work out may be a little different than some of the transfers and experience that were prior to the season? Yeah. Just that it seems like the workout regimen here uh, appears to be a little bit more rigorous. Yeah, you know, and, and I don't know what anybody else does strength conditioning um, wise. You know, I know Oshan had a had a you know a little bit of an adjustment period when it came to the weight room and, and maybe the the conditioning a little bit, and maybe some places focus a little bit more on on speed than they do. And, and like I said, you have I think you have to mirror up your whole program with the league. And in this league, those guys up front, they have to be big and they have to be strong and they have to be explosive. And I think, you know, Coach Duvall probably puts a little more emphasis on that. And that was just a little bit of a learning curve O'Shawn had to get used to, but he's done a great job with it. Yeah, I thought in the spring and in the summertime, um, whether I was with those guys or just purely observing, I thought I saw Miles and Q really leading that group. Not that there what other, wasn't others that stepped up as well, but I thought Miles and Q did a great job leading that group. And uh, they've taken upon themselves to have a little extra film study when I can't be around or not allowed to be around. Uh, Miles is doing a great job right now communicating, helping the young guys. You know, and obviously you can't do that until you're getting your job done. And right now he's getting his job done. You noticed that their leadership's done maybe a little bit different. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think I think Q and Miles are a little bit more in the breath of like a Nick Henrich type leadership where Cam was super energizer bunny and Deontay was kind of, you know, uh, the, the, you know, uh, speak softly and carry a big stick. I think these guys are kind of in the middle, you know, they're both, they have good energy, but they're also very good with the guys back in the back end. Yeah, I think Miles has a good feel for the game. I think he's really good in zone coverage. I think we need to work on his man coverage just a little bit. Um, you know, and, and obviously when you're a guy that gets rotated in, you know, you miss a few tackles. So I'd like to see him sure up his tackling a little bit in this in this uh, fall camp. But 
shoot, Miles does a lot of really good things. He's a he's a pretty well-rounded player. I wouldn't say there's one thing where I'm like, he can't do that. He's a pretty rounded player, and I think he just needs to continue his development. Everybody good? Good to see you guys again.